it's, uh, I think it's pretty good news. The outlook in particular uh, was certainly a, a question mark. Uh, we've seen a number of infrastructure players that have uh, struggled here in the, in the March and April time period. And uh, this is, this is a, a solid result. What, were there any disappointments here? I'm, I'm looking at 3Q operating margin, 27.1%. I think consensus was looking for above 30% now. Yeah, I, I, I suspect uh, there's some, um, some one-time elements in there. I, I would be surprised if it fell below 30%. They've been pretty consistent uh, on, on that margin front. So uh, there's, there, there might be something unusual in there that maybe needs to be adjusted. In terms of breakdown, uh, what are you looking for on the call? Uh, and in terms of the cloud, we've seen some differentiation from uh, rivals over the course of the quarter as to whether people are seeing strength or weakness. So this is a company that's been going through a transition for quite a while. They've put together a, a, a several quarters in a row where they've been uh, really shifting towards software. I think the, uh, the big question mark for investors is, are they able to sustain that migration towards more of a software-centric uh, portfolio and, and revenue stream, uh, also a shift towards subscription? If they've done that within the, uh, the earnings that uh, we had just discussed, I think that's, that's a pretty positive uh, scenario for Cisco. I mean, it's, it's done fairly well so far this year. It's actually one of the Dow's biggest winners, up more than 20%, but it's gotten hurt lately. Is it vulnerable amid all of these trade tensions? Well, yeah, so tariffs are a real issue for Cisco. Um, switching in particular is one of the, uh, one of the items that got hit by, you know, from the, the tariffs. So that's, that's added some volatility. But in general, uh, this is a management team that kind of struggled, uh, I think, when they took over a few years ago. And I'd say in the last year, uh, the management team's kind of gelled and, and their execution's uh, shown some improvement. So I, I think their underlying fundamentals driving that price performance is, uh, has been pretty good.